Hello guys, Xanacle here and welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys on how to get more FPS in CSGO. So, a few things I will be showing you guys is how to optimize your computer to run CSGO more efficiently. I will be showing you guys these a bunch of commands that you can put in Steam to make CSGO run a lot better. And then I will be showing you guys the perfect settings in CSGO. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin this video. Alright guys, make sure you go ahead and go to the Windows icon right down here. Go ahead and right click onto it. Go to System. Go to System Info. Go to Advanced System Settings. Go to Settings. And then go ahead and select Adjust for Best Performance. Now what this will do is it will minimize all the animations, the smooth edges on fonts. I will get rid of the preview pictures on certain icons like for example pictures it'll put like the standard windows picture thing instead of showing the preview of it so when you're done just go ahead and click apply and then ok so the next thing we will be doing is we will go ahead and change our background to a black background now the reason we want to do this is because it has to, it has to load the background and it will use more memory when you're playing in game because you, it, the more detail you have in the background, the more harder it is for your computer. So if you want to get the best performance, I recommend going to a black background. So you can go ahead and go right click on your desktop, go to personalize, go to solid color, and then select any uh, color of your choosing. I will select black, you could select any color you want, it, it won't really matter, or you can do a custom color if you feel, which you have a bunch of stuff you can do. You can mess with the value, which is the brightness, you can do so much more in here too. So I'm going to go ahead and select a black background. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and explain these commands before I go on in the video. So the console command would be basically to load in the configuration asset file in right away as soon as the game starts to make sure everything goes correct and then the novid would be to uh, remove the steam intro which can save you some time getting into game and then the threads is basically using all your uh, CPU cores so for example I have an Intel uh, i3-4160 which is a a quad core processor I believe I'm not entirely sure I should have four cores or two cores but it will depend you I forgot the way to look up how many cores you have I think it's in your MS config so go ahead and type in MS config should be system configuration as well it should tell you how much cores you have I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, this is where it is. So, so number of processors. That, yeah, I have four cores. You can enable all this. I have had issues with this in the past where my computer would break when I click four and then I click OK and then I apply. I don't necessarily recommend doing that because you might break your computer and you will have to, you know, reset it. I don't necessarily recommend it, but. I'm not telling you to do this, so don't blame me if your computer breaks if you do this. So that's how you check how much cores you have. I have four cores, so go ahead and type in threads, and then you would pro then you would type four after it. So go ahead and copy these files. These will be down in the description below. So next, we will need to go ahead and open up Steam. Go to go and right click on CS:GO. Go to Properties. Go to Set Launch Options and then just go ahead and copy those in. Now make sure you go ahead and put 4 after the threads and then space and then click OK. Alright guys so I forgot to add this clip in so I'm going to go ahead and do it now somewhere in my video editing software I'll have to put this in but anyway go ahead and go to your task manager go to performance and then you will see you have your clock speed right here. Now, as you can see, mine is actually at 3.56 gigahertz. Now, I'm not. Now, it might go all over the place in just a second, so I'm not quite sure. But 
in your case it probably will so I don't know why my computer is not doing that right now but anyway to get a constant clock speed you will need to go over to your battery settings so just go ahead and type in battery in the Cortana box and then click power and sleep settings then go to additional power settings and then by default yours might be at balanced apparently it might have a decent pretty good computer because even at balanced it's still maintaining a pretty good clock speed but before it was actually going all over the place until I reopened the task manager I'm not quite sure what's going on doesn't look like it's going to anyway you will have the high performance and you'll have the balanced I recommend going to high performance that'll keep you at a constant clock speed so make sure you go ahead and select that and then you'll be all good to go with a constant clock speed and you'll have better performance in game and you won't be stuttering as much and to minimize the stutter make sure you get more RAM I have 8 gigabytes of RAM but it does not matter how much gigabytes you have it matters about the speed of the RAM so make sure you get a high speed RAM stick to get better performance in game alright so I will appear laggy in game that's because I have Camtasia 9 in the background and a bunch of other things so that's why my FPS is around 30 and lower but anyway go ahead and go to the help and options tab when you pause go to video settings and then make sure you have a 720p resolution if you cannot handle that go lower make sure the shadow quality is on very low make sure that texture detail is on high effect detail on medium shader detail on low multi-core rendering make sure that is enabled multi-anti-aliasing mode make sure that is on none texture filtering mode trilinear FXAA enabled make sure vsync is off and motion blur enabled click apply when you're done and then you should be good to go if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next video